famously scrolling on Amazon the other day, and I came across something kind of interesting. It is a National Geographic Ultimate Rock, Mineral, and Fossil Activity Kit. I saw that this kit boasts 300 specimens, so I saw it and I said, I gotta have it. And no, this video is not sponsored, I just wanted to see if there's some cool rocks and minerals and fossils inside, so let's check it out. Now, I feel like National Geographic rock items can kind of be hit or miss, but I do always like that they come with different ways to identify the rocks that you get. So I'm thinking that what we see here is probably going to be a lot of what comes in our kit. <gasps> and coprolite! That's poop! I've always wanted a coprolite! <laughs> Wow, that's a really weird thing to say. And it also comes with this book here. This is similar to what I've gotten in other kits before, a book that kind of has more details on the different rocks that you may get and fossils. Got ourselves a tiny little magnifying glass. That might be fun to play with. Oh, this is the first time I've ever gotten a little bag. That's pretty cute. Okay, the best part, the rocks. These ones in here look tumbled. Oh, there's a whole bunch of little ones here. Oh. <laughs> These ones are super tiny. Holy cow. Those are like, like pebbles. I hope that this does not count as the 300 because I'm gonna feel a little ripped off to be honest. These are already pretty small, but these compare, wow. See, I was kind of thinking like at least this size. Okay, well, let's keep looking. Uh, it looks like we got a bag of some raw rocks here. I can see a couple little fossils poking out. And it looks like our little crackable geodes. Ooh, and our mystery important piece. So we'll definitely save this for last. I wonder what's in there. It is pretty light, so I don't know. Oh, maybe I see, is it a fossil? Okay, let's take a look at some of the little rocks first. I'm just gonna dump them out. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, these are pretty cute. Ooh, uh, look at you, isn't that malachite? Yeah, I think that this is a little malachite. So that's pretty cool. That was not in our chart and I just looked in the book and it's not in there too. So it's kind of interesting. Um, and it does seem like there's a lot of quartzes. So all of these guys are little quartzes, clear quartzes, a little bit milky there as well. But it does seem like we have a little, oh, an agate, an agate. Let's see. Yeah, tiny little agate there. The shine on some of these is not bad. Others, I think, could maybe use some work. But I'm going to take a minute and organize all these rocks that we have and kind of see what's in all of the little guys. This took me such a ridiculously long amount of time to separate each of these teeny tiny rocks. I about gave up halfway through maybe 15 times. So hopefully this whole time lapse and uh, separating all of these was worth it for you because <laughs> I didn't like it. I'm gonna go ahead and ask myself why I just went to the trouble of doing all that because that took forever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but at least I can show you what we got in the little baby rocks. Uh, a whole bunch. Now, to be fair, there are rose quartz, clear quartz, smoky quartz, mm, milky quartz all in this pile because you know what? I just. We don't need to separate that. It's quartz, okay? It's the most common mineral on earth. We got a lot of them. This is really cool. Obsidian with, I think it's like brown jasper, but these are all a bunch of those. And I mean, they're super tiny. This is some black rocks. Some of them's obsidian, some's not. This is hematite. I can get you closer. Black rocks, hematite, one tiny pure white rock. Um, these are kind of cool. Not sure what this is, but I like it. Uh, these are really cool. There, if you can see, it's got like little tiny, here, if you can see it better like that, little tiny hairline flashy things. I forget, I know the name of this, but I can't remember it. Um, those are cute and tiny. Like I said, a whole bunch of quartz. That is some just like black rocks. I don't know. These are cool too. There is lots of little mossiness in these ones, just quartz with some mossiness. I had a couple nice banded agates, I guess. Malachite, I believe. This is unikite here, that pink and green. We've got some beautiful tiger's eye, some chalcedony slash church, some red jaspers, some brown jaspers, 
Here is some carnelian. Some of it may or may not have banding. I was not going to look that closely. Then, of course, we've got some amethyst here. Some of them has some really nice dark color. We got one single. It doesn't really look blue, but it is. It's blue. Soda light. And, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. And some more jasper, some more jasper, some more jasper, some more jasper. This is adventuring. This is... This I couldn't tell if this was, I think that this is supposed to be a tiger's eye. And then some more other little rocks that I couldn't really identify. Yeah. I also forgot to mention, I got these little tiny glass jars. Aren't they cool? So I'm gonna put the little baby ones in here. So do you remember how I said I wasn't gonna separate all the quartzes cause it was gonna take too long? But you know what I went ahead and did? I went ahead and separated all the quartzes anyways. Why? I don't know, because I thought it would look cooler if they were separated. Does it in the end? Yes, it does. But will I be doing this again? Absolutely not. Um, okay. These are so cute. <laughs> so we've got the milky quartzes. We've got the smoky and mossy quartz. These ones, I tried to get like the most crystal clear ones that I possibly could. This one's kind of like the golden quartz and everything else mixed in. Wow, rocks are pretty cool. And if you want a chance to win a cool rock every single month, head on over to my Patreon where we do rock giveaways. Or if you're interested in a specific rock, I have a bunch posted over on my Etsy. Oh, also I've decided that I'm gonna put these up on my Etsy because aren't they cute? I totally want you guys to have them. <laughs> I put amethysts in this one. This I decided to do the adventuring and some of the quartzes that I had left over. And then this one's all of the carnelians. Look at that, that is full. And then this one is all of the tiger's eyes. Those are super cool. And this I tried to do kind of like a layered effect, but it's all of the different jaspers, like green, pink, brown, red, all of them. And I really like how this one turned out too. This is the unikites and the rose quartzes. This is kind of like a mod podge of all of the different black and goldeny black rocks. And then this one, I know it doesn't have a lot in it, but it has my favorites. Also look at that sparkly one there i think that one's cool so this is like all my favorites with like the little agates and cute little ones so if you're interested all these will be up on my etsy okay let's look at these ones next these ones aren't quite as intimidating there's a lot in here but i think it'll be a, a little bit easier to sort them since they're a little bit bigger i do see a little bit more variation in our rocks as well so let's see what we got right off the bat i noticed these are <laughs> not tumbled very well I mean, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, okay, let me show you what mine look like compared to kind of these weak tumbles. Okay, do you see that? Here is, it's a really dark agate, but it's nice because I can show you just how beautifully shiny compared to, here, we'll do another dark piece. Do you see the difference there? There is... Oh gosh, that is so bad. Okay, I'm gonna organize these out and uh, see what we got. I was gonna think of something witty to talk about during this time lapse, but I like, I can't think of anything. So just imagine I'm being really witty right now and you're laughing really hard, okay? Thank you. Okay, this batch definitely had a lot more variety. There was way more amethyst, some rose quartz, definitely not as quartz heavy as the smaller batch, red jasper, tiger's eye, unikite, just some other kind of blended rocks dalmatian stone this one look at the pattern on that i don't know what this is i think it's a it looks like a jasper of some sort um but it's really pretty got some adventuring a little kind of mossy agates a bunch of sodalite i don't know technically if this is considered sodalite or if it's more of a a moonstone i'm not sure on that one and then some i don't know marble marbly rocks <laughs> oh and some carnelian I pulled out all of my favorites, including this cool little Jasper. I found another one of these too. One of those like super sparkly rocks, which is neat. Also, isn't this interesting? I'm pretty sure that they included a carnelian bead. <laughs> so I thought that was cool and snowflake obsidian. And that was a really nice piece of unikite. And this sodalite has like gold sparkles on it. Do you see that? Isn't that cool? So I think I'm gonna put all of these in my favorites jar just for you. Oh, that is look at that. I kind of want to keep it, but no, I'm going to give it to you. Check it out on my Etsy if you want. I honestly think for the rest of these, I'm going to try to retumble because, because like this one looks okay, but the majority of these just are not it. Okay. On to the last tumbled bag. 
Uh, at least I think most of them are tumbled. This one isn't. Let's see what's inside. We got two, I would say, kind of low quality tiger's eyes. Definitely going to retumble most of these two, except for these quartzes. This is a super tiny uh, crystal quartz. And here's another kind of low quality because you can't really see through it. Crystal quartz. Uh, so I won't be tumbling those. But these ones actually have a pretty decent shine, so I might leave those. Here is our hematite. I also really like the look of these. They are super heavy and yeah, I don't know, just, they look pretty good. So I think I'll probably keep those ones out. But the remainder of these, like this is a really cool looking Jasper. So if it's tumbled right, that's gonna be really beautiful. This is another really cool Jasper. So I think if this one was tumbled right, it would also be really beautiful. And some sodalite that we can retumble and some adventuring that we can retumble and some snowflake obsidian that we can retumble. I mean, this was a, a good selection at least. It kind of had two of each kind of rock. So I liked that. Okay, we're down to the big bag, the geodes, and then our little mystery in here. Oh, it's dirty. Okay, I do really like this desert rose. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I like that a lot. Looks like maybe this is a little fossil. I feel like I should cut this open and see what's inside. It's super light. Then we have another little shell fossil. Oh, and look, there's a couple more little desert roses. Those are cool. I do really like desert roses. Here are all the different little fossils, some shell fossils again here. This one I think is kind of interesting. It's got like a little bit of the, whoops, uh, I don't know, like post rock maybe attached to it, which is interesting. This one is, is pretty, pretty beat up, I would say. And so is this one. You can barely tell that these are shells. But this one's pretty cool. Nice little fossil there. I like that. And just another little broken piece of shell. And we also have some really pretty blue calcite. Oh, I like that. I wonder if you can tumble this. I don't know. I kind of like this one, especially kind of like by itself without tumbling. Oh, I might keep that. And this one's got that cool geometric shape to it, which is pretty neat. This one is a, I would say, pretty low quality pyrite. Uh, it might look a little better if we clean it off. As you can tell, it is pretty dusty and dirty in here. They really should not have included like such fragile rocks with like harder rocks. I don't know why they did that, but um, yeah, it probably would solve some of those issues. This is a nice little pumice. It is super duper light, kind of cool. And a couple little pieces of fluorite, I think, or adventuring. I don't really know, to be honest. I'm not very good at telling the difference. I know you can tell by hardness and this does not seem very hard. So that's kind of why I'm leaning towards fluorite, but I don't know the hardness of adventuring. So one of the two of those, couple little, I think that this is supposed to be a rose quartz and maybe this one was too, but this kind of looks more clear quartz to me. A teeny, tiny, oh, where'd it go? There it is. Teeny, tiny little pyrite. Okay. Oh, I almost don't want to touch it, but I know it's fossilized, so it's fine, but this is the poop. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> it's, I don't know. It kind of is grossing me out that I'm touching it, but it's a pretty big piece of cope. Is it coprolite, coprolite, something like that, but it's basically fossilized poop, which I think is kind of interesting. I wonder what creature thousands and thousands of years ago laid this excrement on the ground. Who knows? And uh, little tiny pieces of poop left over too. <laughs> All right, now we've got our little geodes. Looks like it came with an already broken piece. That is super pretty. Oh, I like that. So this is what the outside looks like. And on the inside, hopefully we'll find lots of beautiful crystals. So I can't decide if I want to cut these open. I might just wait and cut these open on my tile saw. I have a few other little geodes that I wanna cut open, so I think I'm just gonna save these. So if you wanna see what's inside these, stick around to a future video where I'll be cutting them open. Okay, are you ready for the reveal? Now, there is one thing on our big old list here that has not been shown yet. Um, so I kind of have an idea of what it might be. But let's take a look inside and see. Maybe it's something really cool. Okay. I knew it. Some little tea. I guess personally, I'm not like super crazy about teeth. 
but I think, ooh, actually, okay. Look at you. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay. All right. I'm, I can't be mad at that. That's, I like that it's got the two tiny feet next to it. That's cool. Okay. And this one, let's see. Since I'm not super familiar with these, it looks like we've got ourselves Otodus oblicius shark tooth <laughs> and a sand tiger shark tooth. So that's pretty cool. Okay. I guess I'm not too mad. This one's kind of boring to me, to be honest, but I do really like that. Ah, okay. Don't break it. Yeah, that's a nice one. So overall, I mean, I don't think it is too terrible. You do get a pretty wide variety of different rocks and fossils and teeth. So I actually do kind of like this kit. I do really wish though that these, like I said, I'm going to be retumbling them, were just kind of a better quality tumble. But really, that's kind of my only complaint. It's it, it was pretty decent kit. <laughs> um, I will have linked in my Amazon storefront the kit that I got, this one. If you're interested in it, yeah, not too bad. See you next time. Bye!